yeah. Can't open the door. Um, exhaust is done. Um, twins poking out the back. I'm going to turn it off before it runs out of fuel. But um, yeah, still got to fit some more hangers. But uh, that's pretty much it. What I've learnt is. Um, when you're uh, doing lobster lobster cuts on such a long exhaust, you tack them all together, and then you take it off and weld it up, and then you go put it back on, and it's not the same shape it was when you took it off. Because such a long exhaust, the heat makes it shift. So, it'd be a long process, but the best way to do that would be to tack um, each individual piece and then we'll um, maybe do one bend and then um, take it off, weld it right up and put it back on and do the next section. Doing the whole lot at once wasn't such a good idea because I had to reshape it here and there. It wasn't a major drama, but it uh, took an extra 15, 20 minutes out of my time. Um, so next, um, probably next week, Next Friday, I'll probably blast this quarter because as you can see, it's got a bit of surface rust. Because it's been in bare metal for too long. So I'm gonna blast that off and um, put some epoxy over it. Then I'm gonna have to take a bit of a rest because I wanna get this thing on the road. And that's uh, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set it up in the shed in a minute and um, these seats, not mounted yet. Um, Gonna fit the seat belts, fix the exhaust, put the brakes in it, tidy up some of the rust, and then registration. Um, might be almost summer by then. Be uh, be able to enjoy the uh, convertible. Anyway, I'm gonna set up for that, and see you later.